didn't actually see him. You don't open your door around here after dark, love. No, I suppose not. Well, to be quite honest with you, love, I don't really think there's an awful lot we can do. I mean, is there any reason why they should stuff the fireworks through your letterbox in particular? They know I'm on my own. That's enough. Well, if it keeps up, you get in touch again, all right? Yes, I will do. It's their idea of a joke, isn't it? Sierra Oscar, Route 218, active message. Robbery in progress. First of all, hey, two Look at the mess you made. You're terrible. More haste, less speed, Phil. It's not as if we're going to catch him. Well, as things stand at the moment, well, we haven't made any positive progress since you left us with the inquiry. As you say, sir, it's that kind of case. We should continue to pursue the matter with the utmost vigour. <clears throat> Goodbye, sir. Area thinks this one's a blowout, right? Not what he said. Still, we'd better make the most of it. What you got, Viv? Well, there's still a couple of people we never spoke to on the door-to-door, -door, and there's people we could re-interview. It's the third time for most of them. Well, some people's memories improve with time, but it's been weeks now. They'll have mixed up one night with another. Yeah, we'll keep at them anyway. That mob on the estate get enough of a free hand mugging each other without thinking they can get away with murder. Morning, sir. Oh, morning, Kim. Useful meeting at area the other day. Oh, yes, as meetings go. But I also took the opportunity to access the computer and do a bit of work on the statistics. <laughs> Jolly good, that's the spirit. I think you might be interested, sir. Can I run it past you sometime today? Um, yes, well, check with Marion. She's got my diary. Right, will do, sir. Would you know them if you saw them again? I don't know. I didn't get a chance. It happened so fast. Yeah, I know. This is your bag, love? Yeah! I mean, so fast, I'd have whacked the swines. It might not be such a good idea. They might start whacking your back. Yeah, but they were only just like... Even so, it's not recommended. Well, you're not going to get much chance of catching them, are you? Be honest. It was the Craven murder that prompted me to look at the figures, sir. Yes, have you got the Melbourne farmer? Yes, sir. Here Thank you. Are. We believe that Craven was killed in the course of a street robbery. If we look at it on an area basis, this is the third robbery-related murder in 18 months. Street robberies in this area are running at the rate of two and a half to three thousand a year on a rising trend. Yes, well, it's only a matter of luck that more of them haven't ended in fatalities. Well, there can't be any doubt that more of them will if we don't get robbery under control. You want to see someone, mate? Well, I, I, I don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Nip in and have a word at the desk. That's a good time now, there's no queue. Kim, I don't want to give you my standard sermon about limited resources and having to spread them over the whole area of policing. Yes, but, but look at what the customers want. All the survey evidence shows that street robbery is the public's number one priority. It generates an exaggerated fear of crime and makes the public think the police can't do anything for them. You're telling me they're not concerned about burglary or auto crime? Yes, but with burglary and auto crime, at least we can tell the people to do something for themselves. Lock doors, shut windows, fit alarms. <laughs> what can we say about robbery? Stay indoors? That's surrender. That's handing over the streets and the estates to the villains. All right, Kim. You didn't come here to give me a seminar on criminology. What's up your sleeve? Well, I'm not in the business of solving street crime once and for all, sir. That'd be pie in the sky. I want to run a pilot project locally. I'd like to target the Bannister estate. <sighs> Targeting estates. Look, Kim, I don't know where you were in the early 80s. We tried to deal with muggings then, with saturation policing. But that's not what I... And swamp operations. I was sending in uniformed officers against petrol bombs. And I was having local politicians sharpening their knives to stab us in the back. And I am not going to put myself in that situation again. Can I help you? I've been looking at the poster outside. Yeah, well, I'm not so fussy about hate these days. We don't deal with recruitment. I can give you a leaflet. Uh, no, 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 not that poster. The one, the, the one about the murder on the estate. Right. Well, I better take your name then. Uh, it's Styles. S T Y L E S. What you mean is you want to play politics? Well, we've always been in the political game, sir. But up till now, we've pretended to be the referee and been treated like the football. Look, let's play to win. Kim, this is rather a lot for our chief super to take in. I've got to prepare myself for a meeting with the DAC. There's a lot more I'd like you to think about, yes, sir. Yes, I'm sure. Look, I tell you what. Why don't you write me a paper on the subject, hmm? and I can mull over it at my leisure. Give you a considered opinion. Well, as a matter that. of fact, sir, I've already drafted a paper proposing a local street robbery initiative. 
It's being typed out now, and it should be on your desk before the end of the morning. Oh. Good. Well, I, uh, I can't wait. So. On the night in question, you were robbed just round the corner from where the murder happened. Yeah. So how did you report it? What do you mean? Well, did you walk into a police station, dial three nines, tell a constable on the beat? No. Well, what then? Well, I didn't do nothing. What, you mean you didn't report it? Well, I only had, like, ten quid on me. He took it and he legged it. I mean, it's no big deal. It happens to everyone. Did you know the man who robbed you? No. Sure about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Would you recognise him again? I, I don't know about that. I'm, I mean, it was dark and it was quick. Like, I never really saw his face. Yeah, well, look. Try and give us a description, Mr. Stein. I mean, uh, take your time. Make an effort, eh? Because we could be talking here about someone who killed his next victim. Well, after all this time, it's something. Yeah. But what is it? Styles didn't pick out any of the mugshots. Well, he didn't try very hard, did he? And this description, I mean, that could fit half the kids on the estate between 15 and 20. Do you think he's having us over? Just one of the nutters coming out of the woodwork? No. Oh, he's got all his oars in the water. The majority of people couldn't give a decent description of who mugged them. The speed of the attack, the shock. Yeah, but he didn't think it was such a big deal, did he, Styles? I mean, didn't bother reporting it. Couldn't have been that shocked. Well, so he's painting us a picture, covering up for something. I don't know what he's doing. But when you two knock on doors again, I want his cage rattled. This is from the DCI search, the proposal for the street robbery initiative. Already? Yes, well, I must say, I wasn't feeling short of things to read, but still. Are you having lunch at area, sir? Well, a working lunch. I don't think DAC Hicks encourages frivolity. Got the right time? About 12. <coughs> Mrs. DeFreitas? Yeah? WDC Martella, Sunhill Police. I believe an officer spoke to you some time ago about the night of the 13th. About the murder? That's right. Yeah, well, I told him I didn't notice nothing. We're calling on people again just to see if you've remembered anything since. Your back rooms look onto Bathurst. Did you see or hear anything out of the ordinary that night? I told the other one. I was watching telly in the front. Wouldn't have heard nothing. Do you know Derek Stiles? Lives on this estate? That's right. Well, I don't know him like to talk to. But you know who he is? Did you see Derek Stiles that night? I've told you I wasn't looking out in the street. I had the telly on. I never saw nothing. So there's nothing you want to add to what you've already told me before? Like I said, Gary Craven was in here till closing, played some pool, then he left on his own, and that was the last we seen of him. Oh, well. If there is anything else, at any time, we're always interested. Oh, one more thing. Do you know a guy called Derek Stiles? No. So you wouldn't be able to tell me if he was in here that same night? I don't know the fella. Never mind. You don't mind giving me the conducted tour? Of course. It's not idle curiosity. I've got plans for this place. I thought fighting our way in here through burning rubber tires was the worst experience you could have. And I thought about living here. According to the records, it's lively. Not half. There's a girl who lives up there. 
single parent family, two young kids. Been burgled three times in the last 12 months. They just kick the door in. Every time the council replace it with another load of sawdust. So are the people making their own security arrangements? <laughs> yeah, that's a joke. Old couple got themselves a steel door. Security locks the works. Only trouble was, some joker stuffed a load of burning rags through the letterbox. By the time the fire brigade broke in, they were done to a crisp. And the street crime's bad? Chronic. Quietened down a bit after the Craven murder. That's because they knew we were on the plot. But they're coming out from under their stones now. I mean, there was a snatch this morning. They can be through these walkways on their toes like rats up a drain pipe. So this is where Craven was murdered? Yeah. Only a matter of time. Just another stabbing gone wrong. So, what are your plans for the Bannister estate, boss? I want it recaptured. to say yet, yeah. but it looks like accelerant through the letterbox, which is a bit difficult to do by mistake. Right. Got any idea who lives here, then? Uh, the name on the doorbell is Styles. Mm. Robberies, gentlemen. That's what I want us to put our minds to. You know how many street robberies there are in this area on an average year? Two and a half to three thousand on a rising trend. That's correct. It's a matter of grave concern to the public and to the commissioner. Quite rightly so. And of course, we're currently investigating what we believe to be the third robbery-related murder in 18 months. That's a good point, Charles. We all know the reasons, the problems, but I don't think we want any more excuses. I'm looking for plans of action. Well, we're all straining at the leash on this one, sir. But I have to mention the fatal word, resources. I'll make the resources available if I'm convinced they'll get results. Value for money, gentlemen, that's the name of the game. So I'm issuing a challenge. I want an action plan for a street robbery pilot project from each of your divisions. I mean, school's liaison, community involvement. Well, it's not really my part of the jungle. You know, horses for courses. Well, that's one side of the initiative, Frank. There's also thief taking, getting it right on the streets, research, targeting, surveillance, ambush. Yeah, but that's treating teenage toe rags like armed blaggers. Well, they're more of a problem than armed blaggers. Hmm. I suppose it could get a bit lively. It could also get a high profile. Hello, DCI Reed. Yes, he's here. Oh, cheers. Burnside. Yeah. But does she know where he is? We'll get it out of her. What's that? I told you about our excuse for a witness, Styles, in the Craven murder. Yes. Well, he's done a bunk. Someone's trying to torch his flat. Do you know who might have done this? Happens all the time around here. Are you saying this is not personal? Nobody's got it in for you? No, not for me. Well, what about your bloke, Derek Styles? Has he got any enemies? You better ask him. He didn't tell you where he was going. Well, have you got any idea where he might have gone? Has he got parents, brothers, I don't sisters? know where! Now listen, Sherry. Somebody's had a go at setting fire to your flat. You and the baby could have been in there. We need to talk to Derek to find out what this is about now. He might be round at his wife's. Look, it's very important we talk to your husband, Mrs. Stiles. His life could be in danger. I told you, he don't live here no more. Look, do you mind if I come in a minute? Well, hang Excuse on. Me. Oh, Oi! D.S. Road, Sun Hill. Glad we caught you at home, Mr. Stiles. Oh, sir. I don't want to appear to be sitting a march on my colleagues. No, no officer of mine is going to suffer for being quick off the mark, Charles. The fact is, we've already been doing some serious thinking about street robbery at Sun Hill. I've encouraged Kim Reed to produce a draft paper on the subject. Good. Pleased to hear it. My door's always wide open when you want to run it past me. Well, as soon as I've licked it into shape, I'll do just that. Good man. <clears throat> Changed your name. Beg your pardon? Charlie Brown knows is it these days? Other people bring the DAC problems, Jeff. I bring him solutions. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, Charles. 
Swimming's my sport. I admire a good crawl. But, uh, who tipped you off? <laughs> this is well out of order. I'm the victim, right? You're treating me like I was a criminal. I didn't expect all this aggravation. What did you expect? I don't know. Being out for one eye, I saw the posters. But you must have been aware, once you'd seen the posters, that the man who attacked you could have been a murderer. That's right, isn't it? Has he taken money off you before, Derek? Yeah. You know who he is, don't you? And he knows you. Is that why you didn't report the robbery? Because you thought he'd get back at you? Yeah. And when you came to see us about the murder, you still couldn't say who he was? You don't have to live with it, you know. You don't know what it's like. Nobody's going to think worse of you because you didn't tell us what you knew this morning. But things have changed, Derek. When you left Sherry's flat, someone put paraffin through the letterbox and set fire to it. Oh, no. Sherry what are they... and the kid are all right. They weren't in there. Just a bit of damage to the door, that's all. But it changes the situation, right, Derek? You've got to put him away, you know. I'm, I mean, he's only a kid, but he is such bad news. Oh, we'll put him away, Derek. You just tell us who he is. Oh, Tim. Sir. I've uh, been casting an eye over your proposal. Very challenging, very innovative. Oh, thank you, sir. Remarkable that you and the DAC should be thinking along such similar lines. Sometimes an idea's in the air, isn't it, sir? Different people are bound to come at it in their own way. <laughs> well, it certainly crystallised some thoughts that I've been having myself. We must find time to talk about them, ASAP. Look forward to that, sir. Well, that's the picture, sir. You happy for us to go ahead? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bring you in for the interview as soon as we've pulled him. Well, let's hope this is what we're looking for, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. Got a suspect for Craven? Yeah. Colin Seeley, been positively ID'd by Derek Styles as the man who robbed him. He lives on a Bannister estate, aged 20. Got previous for an offensive weapon, sheath knife. Styles is now saying that Seeley threatened him with a knife on more than one occasion. Yeah, he even tried it on me. Took one look and thought better, though. Could be worth a pull. Well, Amit have okayed it. We're ready to lift him now. We're going to need some support. No, Frank, you go in now especially with uniform backup, and there's a good chance you'll start something. Lift him early morning, quick clean in and out. No excuse for a carnival. But you said you wanted the estate recaptured, boss. Not by a pitched battle, Frank. Hearts and minds. Well, we're on time. Yeah, I reckon they've done it in, Steve. We've lost the abbot at the early rise. Here they are. Got that? We're not anticipating a ruck, but just in case we have to nick his brothers, his sisters, his cousins and his aunts. Just shout. Yeah. I expect you'll find an Alan's cave up there, again. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Colin Seeley. He's well at it, isn't he? Who says? It's common knowledge. Ah, he's got the track suits, the gold chains, the box fresh trainers. Yeah, he's flashed with it, isn't he, Steve? Mm. No secret around here. Did it ever occur to anybody to blow this up the CID? Didn't know he was interested, Dunn. Do you know what happened last time I tried to tell CID about something like that? Yeah, you got told to leave crime up to the detectives. Yeah. You, you can't please some people, Steve. I could please that Martella. <laughs> right. Let's do it. If a woman answers and she looks like cutting up rough. Yeah, I thought I was here for a reason. Yeah, we'll try not to hit her. Uh, live in there. Yeah? To take the sides of the road, Sun Hill CID. I have a warrant for the arrest of Colin Seeley in connection with Are the... you Colin's mother? Get out of here! Look, we need to speak to Colin. This is a serious matter, and it'd be much better all round if you just behave sensibly. Don't right? talk to me about being sensible. Now listen, we stuff believe it. that Colin Seeley lives here. Now you just have no. that'll do! You behave, you no. think, lady. I'm not playing games with you, all right? Get out of here! You can't do this! He's done nothing! Seeley! 
Stay there! Steve! See this done a runner. Jumped out the back window onto the balcony. Try and end him off. We're on our way. Hey! What's going on? Get out Come here, scum. Oh, you silly! Find him, Steve. He's got a knife, mate. Come on, Wallace. Go on, Come here. I'm arresting you on suspicion for the murder of Gary Craven. You talk about establishing a street robbery unit at Sun Hill as part of the pilot project. I've already sold Frank Burnside the idea of being in operational command of the unit. He's pulled enough strokes himself, so he knows how to get value for money out of the lads. Yes, well, I'm sure that Frank will be an asset to the unit. As long as he's pointing at the enemy. Oh, I'll make sure of that, sir. Well... I'm sure that the DAC will look very favourably on these proposals. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Of course, they will have to be presented as coming from the Sun Hill management team as a whole. Oh, that's what I'd assume, sir. I'd love to know what that brief's telling Seeley. Keep your mouth shut. Put his hands up. Done a murder? Stabbing Craven and more robberies than he can count. Terrific. This is going to be worth a few gargles at lunchtime. Like anywhere, really. <laughs> Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't ever go out. Hello, Mosh. Hello. What are you having? I'm in the chair. Oh, right. I'm asking that. Right. What about you two? Same again? Yeah. Cheers, girl. Don't know what to put in this ginger ale, but it sure works wonders. <laughs> Good result, Frank. Yeah, I'm pleased. And a bit of news like this breaking won't do your robbery initiative any harm. No, it's like I said, hearts and minds. Very important. When you're ready, love. Yeah, well, we better start with the hearts and minds in this nick. Apparently, Uniform knew Seeley was at it months ago. Have we got the machinery to pass on low-level intelligence? Nothing formal. So they've learned that when they tell us anything, we turn up our noses and say it's canteen gossip. Well, that could happen. Well, we'll all have to change our ideas. Yeah, well, I'm with you there, Kim. You and me together. We could turbocharge this nick. Darling, there is a woman dying of thirst over here. 